Okay, here we are at the Hope Cemetery in San Diego to see Grandpa Bradley's grave. Kim's here from Oregon. Kim Spiratio. Kim Burford Spiratio. And I'm Jacqueline Burford Seedy. The crypt is right, or not the crypt, the mortuary is right there, and Grandpa's crypt is right there. And we're going to try to record as many of the names around it as possible to see if we have any other relatives close by. Plunkett, F-U-G-A-T-E, that's a name you can't forget. The boat rights. Of course, there is a road, and then Grandpa Bradley's crypt. Gosh, you can see inside. Oh my gosh, you know what? Born at St. James, France. We're French, right there on the right hand side. Rose M. F. Blondeau, B. L. O. N. D. E. A. U. And I do not have that in the records. There's Ella A., wife of F. W. Bradley. Where's Bradley? Here? Against this? Um. I don't know. Are you getting pictures of that with your... Rachel Bradley. Uh, bo okay, Rachel, I have to go to the other yeah, side. I know. What does that say underneath? Born to something. Wow, somebody else has somebody been looking because they broke it. That's what happened. George Show, Minnie Stephenson, William Brown. Looks like there's two spots in here. 1860 to 1946, William Brown. Ava Crawford, 1881-1948. A lot of times the graves right around the area will be additional family members. These people were all born right around the Civil War, 1869 to 1949. Okay, we're gonna, we need to completely record what's going on in here. Look at everybody's French. Alexandre Lapousse. Hmm. Sylvia B. Johnson, eighteen eighty seven, January, nineteen sixty four, June. Oh, look at this. Thomas King Motsley. 1845 to 1920. Okay. 
I'm not sure I can get any. Okay, it's Rachel L.J. Bradley, born at Nauvoo, Nauvo, Illinois, August 23rd, 1858, died May 23rd, 1888. That's Rachel L.J. Bradley, born at N-A-U-V-O-O, -O, Illinois, August 23rd, 1858. Um, there's another woman, Ella A., wife of F. W. Bradley. Born November 28, 1848, died March 17th, 1907. Then there's a Rose M.F. Blondeau, born at St. James, France, May 18th, 1824, died January 24th, 1904. And there's also a Bernard Selvin Blondo, also born at Tours, T O U R S, France, 1813. Died at San Diego, January 21st, 1892. And there do appear to be two crypts that are still available up above. Kim's at the other end, and it appears to be a, we're right here on Imperial Avenue in San Diego. Say against the bar wall where I was standing. Is there an inscription under there? I don't think there is. But you know what's right here? An urn. That must be Bradley then. Yes, I agree. Because you don't see him anywhere else. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's an inscription on the urn. Yeah. I see. <gasps> You know, there was a guy. You know what? What? It does say John Bradley. Oh, gosh. Where's my... Let's see. I need your Zoom. Yeah. I'm going to go back towards the car because there was a homeless guy over there. Okay. You know what? Just because Tom King was right here, and then we saw Tom King right after we got out of the car... I'm going to tell him to go have a checkup or something. Him to what? Go have a checkup. You know, he has been really good about health. Look at there's downtown San Diego. I don't know if you can see wow, that. Yeah. And the Bradley Crip. You know what? The urn is where John Bradley is. I could see John on the urn. We just need to get in there. Um, I'm sure they have the records right inside the more, uh, mausoleum. Yeah, it looks like there's two spots in there. You notice that? Uncle Frank always said, there's room in the crypt. There is. A person could, you know, you could two. be buried. I'd love to be buried in there. Wouldn't that be something crazy? But I'm sure they have relatives here. Maybe not, though, you know, with... Well, here's the thing. In, in 1913, whole populations died with that Spanish flu. Oh, really? Yeah. So there are families that got completely wiped out. Wow. 